All right, ladies and gentlemen, and every other beautiful individual and entity, my name is Maximum Austin, and today we're going to be um, continuing our Shazam showcase, I guess, in various DC Comics media, and uh, we're going to, it's raining outside, oh, someone, if we hear thunder, uh, we know who's, who it is, um, and we're going to be playing as Captain Marvel slash Shazam in uh, the first Injustice game. Uh, to commemorate the release of Injustice, no, of Shazam, we'll go ahead and do classic. Uh, that's coming out in theaters soon, so we'll go ahead, uh, we'll pick this costume. Go ahead, and I kind of want to do hard, since I'm pretty good at this game. We'll make it fun and do hard. Yeah. I'm Superman and I'm angry. So, I talked about the first injustice before, but I haven't uh, stated my uh, how I first came across it when I, when it was announced at E3 2013. Oh, there we go. I legitimately thought it was <laughs> like, oh, the oh the Mortal Kombat guys are. Uh, doing like greek mythology i guess but no it's actually a dc comics fighting game that's cool so anywho here he is it's our boy shazam billy batson like i said in the previous video i think uh they changed uh captain marvel's name to shazam just because to keep consistency with the title of his books and also just to and just to maybe separate him from uh, Captain Marvel um, the Marvel Captain Marvel um, I don't know if that was before or after oh shoot didn't make that combo I don't know if that was before or after um, Carol Danvers became Captain Marvel in the Marvel comics but it is what it is, as they say around my parts. So, um, yeah, we're fighting. We're fighting Tom Hardy in um, the island from Wonder Woman, and everything's going okay. Come on, there we go. And for some reason, in this game, Shazam always wears a hood, and I don't know why that is necessarily, but um. I don't know why. Just maybe it's because he looks way too similar to Superman. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, we're fighting Doomsday. One of the worst Superman villains. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, he's alright. I don't just like don't like him. It takes effort to hate things. He's It's okay. It's a cool monster design, though. I'll, we'll give Doomsday that, but this oh, awesome. This isn't about. This isn't about Doomsday. This is about our pal Billy Batson, Captain Marvel. Um, in this game, you can summon light. You can get pummeled. You can summon lightning. You can. You can uh, grab your opponents. Um, you can do this, which is cool. I'm trying to do the one grab. I, I did it in the last fight, but it's okay. You can do combos. You can summon lightning. You can turn back into a kid. You're a kid. You're a Shazam. That classic. Classic stuff. There we go. Let's activate a super move. Yeah. Oh, I shoot. And I got hit. And also his uh, character specific power is um, his uh, arm, his fist punching attacks and lightning um, gets improved uh, when you activate it. And there's that. 
I know Shazam appears in the story mode. Uh, all of the base characters for this game, they appear in the story mode. The DLC characters do not, except for Martian Manhunter. He appears as a background background cameo. But um, I'm losing my train of thought. But, uh, yep, Shazam, he, you don't play as him in the story mode, but he does appear... I did a playthrough, I did a commentary slash playthrough Terry thing um, of this game a few years ago. Uh, and I really do enjoy almost every aspect of this game. It's one of my favorites. And I do like its sequel as well. Come on. Oh, and fun, fun fact about Raven in this game. Still the same voice actor. That's still voice actress. That's still Tara Strong, voicing this sort of like adult, older version of the character. Isn't that just kooky? And I'm not doing so hot. I need to pay attention. There's a lot of characters in the first Injustice game that did not uh, come back for the sequel, which I understand. You know, you got it. Whether it be storyline reasons or what have you. Ah, come on. Oh, that was a flub. Swing and a miss. And I did it again. Why? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's do the grab. There we go. Let's see if I can't show off on this stage. Okay, I'm not. Oh, come on. Nope, that's not it. Come on. I guess not. This does... This came out a few years after Batman Arkham City. And for some of the Batman characters that appear, they do recycle assets. Which, in a way, sucks, but... Eh. There we go. Woo! A lot of this game rains really pouring down. A lot of a lot of this game feels a little bit choppy. Well, just the, the just the graphics, they don't feel as polished as they could have been. I don't know if it was just I don't know. I don't know if they were just getting adjusted to different software or an engine or something. This was the second game NetherRealm Studios did uh, after um MK9, which I do like. Uh. Oh. What? Come on. You, Jason Momoa. You zombie. You zombie fish person. I really need to read... Um, I don't read a whole lot of comics nowadays, but... I do need to read... Uh, the Blackest Night one, I heard. That was pretty neat. DC characters coming back to life from the dead. Aquaman being able to summon dead sea life. Sounds like a fun time. Uh, hopefully they, with uh, MK11 bringing back a lot of characters from uh, MK9, which also brought a whole lot of characters back from a different Mortal Kombat, like 1, 2, 3. Uh, I hope I'm not, I'm going to die. Uh, I hope they bring back Shazam for a new Injustice game when they make one. And I am down. That's what I get. And there we go, that's a JPEG. If I ever diddly dang done seen one. JPEG Atlantis. Okay, let's try this. Try this again. I do like the stages in this. Um. Uh, not so much in variety, but. They look nice. They have little interaction, interaction points. 
I think a lot of fans were interested in this game. A lot of Mortal Kombat fans were kind of interested in this game because of its uh, Mortal Kombat connections. Which is fine. Come on. There we go. I did. I did a thing. <sighs> kind of feels weird going back to this after Injustice Two. Where it has like the different escapes you can do. There we go. You just gotta stay alive. Come on. Uh, it's been a while since I played Injustice 2's uh, arcade ladder, so to speak. So I need to not do what I did a minute ago. There we go. Here's the scene er arena transition. Yep. Yep. Just like the original Arkham Asylum. There's Scarecrow. And if I can't trigger it again. Oh. I actually have the Wii U version of this game, so I might have to do a video on that sometime in the future. In the f like future. There we go. You also, you also have different costumes for the characters. Um, perfect, as I say that, we fight ourselves. Uh, there's like um, Blackest Night, Superman Red Sun versions of characters, uh, which are just costumes. And also, this should be... Yep, that's the um, one of the costumes in this game as part of the story. Oh my god. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea if Netherrealm uh, or Warner Brothers is doing anything video game related for Shazam, like with their existing video games, but I'll have to look into that. There we go. How do I do the one thing? There we go. That's sort of how you do it? No. There we go. I am down, but that's okay. Uh, Terra Strong also... Oh, oh no. Terra Strong, I think she also voices Billy Batson in like Justice League and Batman the Brave and the Bold. But I don't know who voices him here in that little... All he does is say Shazam in this game, but... Still. Hope this hits. Yeah! I do like the little um, Gotham skyline right there. That looks very nice. Gives you an aura. It gives you an aura of uh, something. Yes. Stig Glyphon. Can you imagine if Stewie Griffin got the powers of Shazam? That would be awful. But here we are. That was a bit I did. Who are we fighting now? It's Nightwing. Yay. I'm getting hurt. Really bad. Really. Get. Son, I'm gonna kick your butt. I'm gonna kick your ass. There we go. Oh, I can do a better hand kill. <laughs> Bobby, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna kick your ass. The power of my propane. Bobby? That boy ain't right. Oh, come on. You. You. F McFreaking. Scott Menville, you... There we go. Whoop. Oh, okay, that was kind of early, but... Okay, fine. I don't care. I just wanted to stop getting punched in the face. 
Now I'm going to punch this youngster in the face. I don't know. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, Young Justice is getting a third season, I believe. It's coming back in some way. Captain Marvel, this Shazam was in that show. How will they... Will they call him Shazam or Captain Marvel if he returns? I've only seen a little bit of Young Justice, but I hear it's good. And that people were really, really bummed that it was canceled, and I flubbed it. Now he's going to make a... Yep. Yay, I know. I want to go back and try again. Because that's what you do in life. You try, you try again. And I'm sounding like um, Bob Ross here, so I'm wondering... Here's an idea. What if Bob Ross was a Let's Player? That'd be cool. I, we're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna... Um, come on. Capture this Bulbasaur here. What if Donald Duck played... video games that would be interesting <laughs> oh my gosh I'm getting beat up yeah I hate I hate I am no I am no uh, weapons expert by any means but that is a pretty silly stance that uh, Nightwing has when he's when he's holding the staff but you know what this game is pretty silly all around and yeah ooh man Stop it! Stop hitting me! Oh, no, I guess I'll use my one chunk of super meter, I suppose, to beat him up. There we go. 